Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. This is God's soul channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Child of God, what you carry is life changing. If you are being fought right now by your enemies, it is because what you carry it is something that they cannot comprehend. Hallelujah. They cannot comprehend. They cannot accept it. They cannot take it. So somebody hear me. When I hear this word, you are being fought. I hear this word so strongly. The reason why you are being fought so heavily, it is because of what you carry, it is life-changing. The promises of God upon your life is too heavy for the enemy to comprehend. For the enemy to understand, for the enemy to accept. When they look at you, they are like, you are not supposed to be the one that will carry such blessing. Some of us don't even realize this blessing. Because the battle is so intense, we concentrate on the battles. Sometimes we forget about the blessing. But this is a reminder, in case you have forgotten who you are, that there is, you are a carrier of blessing. You are a carrier of blessing. So sometimes the battle we face, it is a distraction. It is what the enemy wants to use to distract us to realize who we really are. Who we really are. Child of God, you were not born to be wasted. That is what God is telling you through this message. You were never born to be wasted. You were born to carry blessing. You were born to carry good things. You were born to be a carrier of the promises of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, in this generation where we are in, there are many things that will make, that, will, that there are many battles that will even make some people to give up on themselves and think that, oh, maybe I'm not among those that are blessings. Oh, maybe I'm not among those that carry the blessing. Even the blessings of Abraham, the Bible says it is yours. Because to his descendant, the Bible says that the earth, they will even feed the earth. They will take care of many things. They will take over nations. God will give them nations. God will give them countries. God will give them territory. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are being fought. As I hear this word, I see you as a walking blessing. You are a blessing. You are a walking blessing. A blessing. Hallelujah. And what is upon you, it is life-changing. And they have tried to make sure it never materialized. But God is telling you that it will materialize. Because there is an authority of God upon your life. God has given you the authority to prosper. It is an authority he gave to us. It is a commandment. He said we should go and prosper and be fruitful. He said we should go. He said, he said I've given you dominion. That is, I've given you the authority. I've given you dominion. I've given you the power. I've given you the privilege. Hallelujah. To stand as a blessing. To carry blessing. To represent blessing. Glory to Jesus. Now hear what the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1. In case you are still asking yourself, why am I being fought? There is somebody you might be asking yourself, why is it that I'm only seeing battle? Seeing battle. Seeing battle. <laughs> there is no blessing. There is a blessing. That is why the battle is even intense. If there were no if there were no blessing in your life, the battle will not have even been there. Because when a life is wasted, the enemy does not have time for such life. Any life that they have already wasted, they just live their life like that. And they go ahead to the next one, looking for another one. Because who are they really looking for? What are they looking for? It is those that are still standing. You need to understand that if you are still standing in the Lord, you will experience battle. Because standing in the Lord alone is a blessing on his own. It is a blessing on his own. That is the greatest blessing that we have. 
for you to be able to stand in the Lord, for you to be able to stand in the Lord. That is one of the greatest blessings. Hallelujah. So, standing in the Lord alone will attract battles. You will not ask yourself, why is it when I was not praying, the way I'm praying now was not attacked like that? Because the devil did not see you as a problem then. They just see you as, as one of their candidates. Why is it that when I was not born again, I did not have all this oppression, all of these that I'm experiencing now? Why? Because you were already a part, you were a part of them there. So there is no point to make you, uh, to, 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 to do things that will make your eyes to be open so that you will not leave their path. You understand what I'm saying? The reason why believers will continue to be fought is because we are still here on this earth. That is the reality of life because Jesus said on this earth, we will have trouble, tribulation, persecution, different kinds of things when it comes to a believer. Because we are blessings that they don't want to see. Because you are a blessing that the world don't want to see. The world is not interested in those that are true blessings. They are interested in those that walk in causes. That walk in faith things. That walk in the glory of Satan. That is the world that we are in. For you to stand right in the midst of tribulation. For you to see stand by God in the midst of tribulation. That means that there is a blessing upon you already. That is a life changing. Your life become a mirror when you stand. When you stand on the Lord's side in this world that is full of tribulation. Your life become a mirror that all that look at and they are encouraged. There are people I see that even their words can heal somebody that is broken. That is a blessing. That is a life changing. Even if they didn't even do it, the promises that we, they will give sometimes from their heart, you will feel it that this is from their heart. You will see that the blessings of God upon them is life changing. They save even other people's life with the way they talk, with the way they encourage others. That is a blessing. That is a walking blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Lord has given us the blessings of Abraham. I know the enemy don't want you to have these blessings, but you will have it. Because many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of it all. Hallelujah. Not even one of his bones will be broken. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Now the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, when you go to verse 28, the Bible says, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, he said, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. This is a commandment. He just said, go and be fruitful. I have commanded you to be fruitful. I have commanded you to be fruitful. I have commanded you to replenish. I have commanded you to multiply. So what you carry is life-changing. There is no debate about it. Because when he said go, he means go. When he said go, there is nothing that can drag you back. Even if you will encounter some situation that want to drag you back, but they will not be able to drag you back because the yes of God cannot be canceled by the no of the enemy. And the no of God cannot be canceled by the yes of the enemy. What God says stand, that is why he's God. That is why he's God. He does not need uh, somebody to ask or another God to ask and say, ah, what I'm saying now will he stand? What he says stand, when he said go and multiply, it is a command. It is a command, it is an authority that he has given to us. So when you go, you realize that, oh, there is a blessing upon you that is life-changing. Don't allow the enemy to strip you off of that garment. Make you feel as if because of the battle that you are not a blessing, you are a blessing. Don't make them strip you off of your joy. Because of what you are passing through, for you to start feeling that maybe I'm not among those that are that are blessing. No, the Bible says in twenty seven in twenty seven of that Genesis chapter one, the Bible says, and so God created man in His image, in the image of God created He male and female created He them. Hallelujah. When you read down, it says, "Say have dominion." That is an authority. It says, "Have dominion over the fish of the sea." 
and over the fowl of the earth of the air and every living thing that moveth upon the earth so he gave you the authority he said every live every every living thing every living thing that is how powerful you are that is how powerful you are he said i've given you every hard bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which the fruit in the in in the wish is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat hallelujah hallelujah i said to every beast of the earth to every beast to every fowl hallelujah to everything that creepeth so you need to understand that no matter what you are passing through you are a blessing the blessing that is upon you is life changing hallelujah it is something that is life changing. I want you to know that no matter how much you are fought, that blessing cannot be taken away. I pray for you that wherever you go, you'll be a blessing, a representative of God that is that, that is on this earth to take dominion, to multiply, to replenish, to be fruitful. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.